Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have a whiskey on the cask called Angel's Envy. And it's a whiskey that has been matured in sweet wine barrels. And it's the Angel's Envy port barrel finish. And it is still a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. How can it be that there is port wine maturation and you have a Kentucky straight bourbon, which requires fresh American oak or fresh oak containers. And that's because they have been used, the fresh oak containers or fresh oak, American oak has been used to mature it beforehand and then it was first finished in bourbon. So basically when you have um, your whiskey, your, your spirit, you mature it, then it is a Kentucky straight bourbon and then you finish it in port wine barrels and it's still a bourbon. You can have it mature or stay in a glass bottle as well and it's still American uh, Kentucky straight bourbon. So yeah, that's how you can have a whiskey with port wine casks and still be a Kentucky straight bourbon. That means we already know, okay, first fresh oak barrels, then port wine barrels and 51% corn and all the other stuff that is required to have a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey on the label. The whiskey is called Angel's Envy and it's a play on, on the Angel's share. They have a maturation, they say, of around six years and they lose about 5% due to evaporation and that is the Angel's share, the whiskey that has been shared with the Angels. It's a, a beautiful bottle. I can just have a look at it here. Beautiful bottle. And at the back you have angel wings on the whiskey. And it's a very flat, very thin bottle. And yeah, if you look at it that way, it has quite some color. The distillery is from the, let me see, uh, the distillery, the Angel's Envy distillery mm -hmm, from the city center of uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And it was um, founded in 2016. And I've just been to Louisville, Kentucky uh, in the year 2015. So back the time when I was there, um, yeah, they haven't opened yet. It is said that the brand Angel's Envy has been around before, but um, I've never heard of that brand. I have to be, I have to be uh, that honest. Um, I think it's an American brand and it's not a very big one. Okay. Oh, they do have a batch. Batch number 83S and bottle number 3272. Charred white oak barrels, then in respect to angels, just like every other bourbon, however, like other any spends the last six months. Okay, they have uh, six months. Ah, there is a, a little a little date here that says uncorked on. So you can, can write there when you have opened your bottle. Mmm, it is a lot more fruity. You rarely have such a fruity Kentucky straight bourbon. It's sweet and it's bourbon that you feel, but it does have a, a wine, grape, cherries, juice kind of tone to it. Mm, I like it. Mm. 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 Ho, ho, ho. Quite intense. Mm. Has a also a very strong touch to it with a lot of a lot of grapes as well a little bit sour even that mm, that sourness just reminds me with all the other notes from the bourbon that just reminds me of citrus but I'm still 
still wondering is that just an association association with the the bourbon touch that you have on a scotch when you have a bourbon matured bourbon cask matured scotch whiskey then you have that citrus note to it is that the just the association or is it is it really in there mm. 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 but it's it's pretty forward mm. Some might seem, even say a little bit of a light alcoholic note to it. Very fresh. And I would go as far as, yes, there is a citrus note to it. I didn't have it in the, in the, in the nose, but I did have it in the mouth. And, mmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. There's a little bit of an aromatic note as well going on. So it's, it does have a lot of edges to it. It's a little intense, a little strong for my feel for Kentucky Straight Bourbon. At the beginning, it's not like easy drinkable, very sweet, very easy, but it has have edges to it. It's sourness, um, a lot of fruits, a little bit of an aromatic note, a little bit of a bittersweet note in the, in the, uh, in the end. So it's a, it's just a, a very jazzed up version of the Kentucky Straight Bourbon. It's it's definitely much more interesting, edgy, strong, intense, different to all what we to what I've tried with the Kentucky Straight Bourbon. A Kentucky Straight Bourbon can be very intense and oaky if it becomes older, but this one is different. It just has much much different flavors in it. But the intensity is there that you have within your Kentucky Straight Bourbon. It's not as mild as a scotch whiskey mm -hmm. so yeah that was interesting that was a, a kentucky straight bourbon worth trying yeah thank you very much for watching and see you next time